Okay. So we're going to go ahead and pin this like so. Okay. And pin it again. See, every once in a while you can turn over and look at the back. See how it's coming together back here. The seams and all that are all laying flat. That's what you want, okay? You want all your seams to lay flat. do D5 okay which is up here because our center piece is right here okay so we did the three B's okay now we need to do D5 okay one two and then that will be the three D5 so there we go all right um I want to do a pretty, let's do the pretty, uh, pretty, uh, let's do this one. Cause we got pink in there, so let's go ahead and do this. Okay. Like so. Okay. Oh, we know we want it to go this way. Alright. So. And if you want, you know, you can do lights and darks. Um, it doesn't matter. I, I like it like this. I don't like the lights and darks. I like the pretty, uh, different colors and all that. I think it makes really pretty, like mine up here on the wall. I did not go lights and darks. I sewed what I had. Okay. Okay, so let me see here. Yep, looking good. Okay. Try to pull this out. Make sure your stiletto would come in handy. But the stiletto's for later. Alright, now you can just use your fingers to Okay, and again, cut off the extra that I have to cut off right here. You guys don't, but I do. Because I'm showing you. This is, I, I made these for the 12. So. But I need to show you how to do the 12. Okay. Finger fold, like that. Or press, whatever you want to do. Okay. Any extra thread line around that you see, go ahead and cut it off. You don't want thread hanging out on your um, beautiful block. Okay, so that was uh, D D5. Okay, now we have to go to D6, which is here's your middle. So you set, you, you have one two three, one two three, one two three. But here you have one two, so you know that this is where you have to go. Okay. So, D6 is right here. 